Google Analytics 4 is a leading free analytics platform used to analyze and measure the performance of your website or app. Now, Google Analytics 4 also allows anyone to track important events by setting up conversion tracking. Think about all the important actions that are happening on your website. You can simply track the performance of these events all within the Google Analytics platform. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive week. Now in this Google Analytics 4 tutorial, I'm going to navigate through the process of setting up event tracking inside Google Analytics 4. This is so that you can track important events like form submissions happening on your website. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this Google Analytics 4 tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that having note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Google Analytics 4 event tracking tutorial. <music> Okay, so before we get started and dive into event tracking with Google Analytics 4, we first need to actually connect Google Analytics 4 with our website. Now, if you're yet to do this, what I'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description that will guide you through the initial process of connecting Google Analytics 4 with your website. Now, each website offers a different process for connecting Google Analytics, so I'll add multiple tutorials down below, and you can choose the appropriate tutorial based on the website builder that you used to create your website. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and dive into event tracking with Google Analytics 4. First things first, simply head over to your browser and type in analytics.google.com and that's going to take you to your Google Analytics account. Make sure that you have the correct Google account selected and then navigate over to all accounts and make sure that you have the correct property selected. Then simply navigate down over to the left hand side and locate configure. And under configure, you'll be taken to events. As you can see down here, these are our existing events. These are default events that are already created when you first connect Google Analytics 4 with your website. Now, if you're completely new to Google Analytics and maybe you've just connected Google Analytics with your website, but you're not too sure how to actually navigate through Google Analytics and make sense of all the different analytics, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will take you through a beginner's overview of your Google Analytics account. So go ahead and check that out if you're completely new to Google Analytics. Okay, so back here inside our events, what we want to do is navigate up to create event to create our first custom event. Then simply navigate up to create. Then navigate over to configuration and under custom event name, what we want to do is select a custom event. So for us, a conversion or event that we want to track that we have identified as valuable is a successful form submission. And that's exactly what we want to track. What we want to do is track the successful form submissions on our website so that we can track our website leads within Google Analytics 4. And down here we have many custom events that we can select depending on the event that we want to track. Remember each website is slightly different in terms of the events or conversions that are significant to you that you want to track. Today's tutorial we're just going to focus on tracking leads that are generated on our website. To do that navigate down and locate generate lead. Then under matching conditions, what we want to do is set up our event. To do that, come down to parameter. We want to keep event name selected. So the event name is generate lead. Then under operator, we want to keep equals selected. Then under value, what we want to do is go ahead and type in page underscore view. So now we have the event name, which is generate lead. So a lead generation equals the value which is a page view. But now what we need to do is navigate over to add condition and add an additional condition. To do that, come down under parameter and go ahead and type in page location. So here we have page underscore location. Then again, next to operator, we want to click this drop down. 
and navigate down and click on Contains. Then head over to Value again. This is where we want to add the end page that the successful form submission redirects to. So ideally on your website, what you want to do is have a thank you page. So the website I'm using today has a booking form. So when a potential lead, a website visitor lands on the booking page and they fill out their information inside the booking form and they click book now, that's going to redirect that website visitor to a thank you page. And the thank you page is the value that we want to track because a successful form submission will redirect to the thank you page and that is considered as a conversion. So what I'm going to do is head over to the website I'm using for today's example. So here you can see this is the booking page. If I navigate down, we have the form down here. When this form has been successfully completed and the website visitor clicks book now, that's going to take them to the thank you page. So I'm going to navigate over to the thank you page. And here is the thank you page. So what I want to do is copy the URL of this thank you page. And all I need to do is take this section of the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then navigate back over to Google Analytics. And back inside Google Analytics, what we want to do is under value, go ahead and paste in the thank you page. So now we have the lead equals the page view of the page location, which contains this value here, which is the thank you page. And that is going to be counted as a conversion. Now, if we navigate down further and click on modify parameters, what we can do is add a value for this lead if we like. So I'm going to come down and click here and then type in value and then navigate over to new value and type in 549. That is the average value of a conversion. So what is the average value of your conversion? What you want to do is add that down here. Then navigate down to add modification and we're going to go ahead and add currency. And here we have currency here. And then next to new value, next to currency, we want to add the currency that you want to use. For us, this is in New Zealand dollars. So the value of the new lead is 549 New Zealand dollars, which is the currency. Then once you're happy with your setup, simply navigate up to create. And here we have the custom event here, event name, which is generate lead equals page view with the page location that contains the thank you page. Then what we want to do is exit out of here and navigate over to conversions and then go ahead and click on new conversion event. Remember this one's called generate underscore lead. Then click on save. And to further analyze this event, what you can do is navigate over to the left hand side and click on reports and then come down to engagement and click on conversions. And this is where you can track your custom conversions that you've set up. And when your event starts generating data, you will see your new event down here. You'll see the conversions, the total users, as well as the event revenue based on the value that you added. Now we can also navigate over to acquisition and then come down and click on traffic acquisition. And under traffic acquisition, what we can do is navigate down the page and locate this section here. Then we can navigate across and locate conversions. Then we can select all events or if we click the drop down, we can come down and click our new event down here. And when you start generating data, you can see where your users are coming from, those that generate into leads. Are they coming from paid advertising, paid search, organic search? Are they directly typing in your website and then filling out the form? Or are they coming from social media? Here you can identify which channels are working best for you in terms of generating leads. However, that is everything I wanted to cover to help you track form submissions in Google Analytics 4 and set up your own event tracking. And in future tutorials, what we'll do is dive deeper into event tracking and look at different events that you can track on your website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Analytics 4 event tracking tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.